This little book was my very favorite book when I was a little girl. It's called The Happy Family, pictures by Gertrude Elliott. Father and mother live in a pretty little house with their little boy Tony and their little girl Peggy. They're a very happy family. They have a pussycat. Her name is Kiki. They have a dog. His name is Skipper. And they also have a little canary bird who has no name at all. The canary sits in his cage all day long and chirps. Beep, beep, beep. The happiest time of the day is when father comes home from work. Mother gives him a kiss. Tony and Peggy run and shout, Daddy, Daddy, hello, Daddy. The kitten says, Meow. The dog says, Woof, woof. And the canary is so glad that he sings his little tune louder than ever. Peep, peep, peep. Father hangs up his hat and coat and goes to work in the garden. Tony helps with the lawnmower. Peggy picks radishes and cut flowers for the table. They work hard and get very hungry. But soon, mother calls from the window. Come wash your hands, everybody. It's time to eat. What a nice dinner. There is roast beef with baked potatoes and a big dish of peas from the garden and lettuce and tomato salad. Most wonderful of all, there is an apple pie cooling on the windowsill. Right over there. Kiki likes the roast best. She looks at it and says, meow, meow, please somebody give me a taste of this roast beef. Skipper too looks at the roast beef with longing and he lets out a big sigh. I wish I had a bone, he says, but mother is very smart. She knows just what Kiki and Skipper are thinking. All right, she says, come here, you two. She gives Skipper the big juicy bone and she puts some gravy in the saucer for little Kiki. They are both very pleased. Meow, meow, says Kiki. Thank you very much. Meow, meow. Woof, woof, says Skipper, gnawing his bone. Thank you, thank you. Right after dinner, Mother says, let's do the dishes, and everybody goes into the kitchen. It's a lot of fun. First, Mother fills the sink with hot, soapy water. Then she rinses the glasses. They come out clean and sparkling. Father says, let's help Mother. Tony and Peggy, will you please wipe the dishes and I will put them away. In a few minutes, they've washed, rinsed, and wiped all the glasses, the plates, the knives, forks, spoons, and the pots and pans. Then Mother takes off her apron and they all go into the living room. Now, Daddy, tell us some stories, says Tony and Peggy. Father opens a book and reads them the stories of the three little pigs and Little Red Riding Hood and about Tom Thumb and the Little Gingerbread Boy and Hansel and Gretel. Tony and Peggy listen to him and look at the pictures while Mother knits. Suddenly a big voice comes out over the radio and it says, The time is now 8 o'clock. Mother puts her knitting down and says to the children, Time to go to bed. Before going to bed, Tony and Peggy have one more thing to do. They go to the bathroom and brush their teeth. Then Mother tucks them in bed and gives each one a big kiss. Good night, Tony. Good night, Mommy. Good night, Peggy. Good night, Mommy. Good night, good night, good night. It's morning again and the milkman brings milk for the family. Clickety-clack go the bottles in the wire basket. Skipper watches him but does not bark. He just wags his tail. The milkman's a friend of his, and Skipper does not bark at his friends. Good morning, everybody, says Father. Did you sleep well? Yes, we did, says Tony and Peggy. That's fine, says Father. Now, let's have breakfast, so they all sit around the kitchen table. The mailman comes and rings the bell. He has a letter. It's from Grandmother, says Mother. She says that she is sending a great big box of cookies. How nice, says Peggy. I love cookies. Father's ready to go to work. Today he is picked up by a neighbor and sits beside the driver. Goodbye, says Mother. Don't drive too fast now. Tony and Peggy take their lunch boxes and they go out to meet the school bus. All their little friends are at the corner waiting for the bus too. They call out to Tony and Peggy. Hurry, hurry, the bus is almost here. Now mother is all alone in the house. 
She is very busy because she likes to have everything clean and in order. She makes the beds, she cleans the rugs with the vacuum cleaner, then she puts the dirty clothes in the washing machine, swish, swish, go the clothes. Soon everything is clean and on the line to dry. Later, she irons a suit for Tony and a white dress for Peggy. When Tony and Peggy come home from school, they go with their mother to do the marketing. As they walk along, mother thinks, now let's see, what else do I have to buy today? Tony and Peggy follow her and carry the bags. They're careful not to drop anything in the street. Today is a big day. It's Peggy's birthday and mother has baked a beautiful cake. She is very busy decorating the cake with candles and little flowers. Now with pink frosting, she writes on the icing, Peggy, what a beautiful cake. How good it looks. When, oh, when is the party going to begin? At last, the guests come over and everybody brings a present for Peggy. Handkerchiefs, candy, game of lotto, and two little golden books. Peggy and Tony and all their little friends sit around the table in the garden. Mother brings out the cake. All the candles are lighted and the children sing, Happy birthday, dear Peggy. Happy birthday to you. Just as the party is going to end, Father comes in with two big boxes. The one box is for Peggy and one is for Tony. What is it? What is it? They cry. They can hardly wait to open them. They hurry as fast as they can. Oh, what a wonderful surprise. Father has bought them two beautiful, shiny bicycles. Each one has a bell and a flashing light on top of the wheel. The next day, the whole family helps to pack a lunch. They jump on their bicycles and ride to the beach. Father goes in front. Tony and Peggy follow, one right in front of the other. Then comes Mother with her little Kiki in the basket on the handlebars. Skipper comes last of all, running so fast that his tongue hangs out and his ears flap in the wind. Tony and Peggy have a lot of fun ringing the bell of their new bicycles. Ding-a-ling-a-ling, -a -ling, watch out everybody. As soon as they arrive at the beach, Tony puts on his bathing suit and dives from the raft. Come on in, Peggy, the water's fine. While Tony and Peggy have their swim, father and mother unpack the lunch, hard-boiled eggs, all kinds of sandwiches, salad, peaches, and ice cream. A nice breeze is blowing from the sea, and everyone, including Skipper and Kiki, has a big appetite. It is late when they get back to their little house, and everyone is tired. Very soon, the whole family will be in bed and asleep. Good night. The end. Again, this is the happy family.